Good evening, everybody. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Good evening. Good evening. Good to see everybody. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Good fire. Good evening. Did someone say they're tired? Teacher, are you sick? Me? Um, no, well, I've, I've been just trying to recover from, I was sick like two weeks ago and I still seem to be recovering. Um, I still have a cough, and yeah, my throat is still hurting. Well, not hurting, but uh, yeah, sometimes I, I I feel a little bit under the weather, but that's okay. It just just recovering a little bit. Yeah, so it's not it's not too bad. Uh, just a second, I think. Give me a moment. I think my my camera has. Frozen, just give me a second. Okay, I think you guys can see me now, right? Can you see me or no? Yes. yes. Oh, okay, 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 good. Excellent. All right, so how was your weekend? Tell me about your weekend. Did you have a good weekend, Asalia? Sir, I, I, Everybody. Good great. evening. You, you had a good weekend, a great weekend? Great, teacher. Yeah? Okay, good. What did you do? What did you do on the weekend? We were working, television. Oh, you had celebrations. Yes. Um, I'm in triste teacher. Sad. Sad. You're sad, Natalia? Yes. Oh. He was a vecino, so we were luto acá. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I'm very sorry. Yeah. Uh, was he sick? <clears throat> in, in, in my day, have my mm -hmm. day birthday. It was your birthday? Yes. Oh, wow. So lots of things going on. Okay, okay. Yes. Um, yeah, wow. Okay. Well, um, yeah, I'm, I'm very sorry to hear about your, your neighbor. Very, very sorry. Thank you, Yeah. And uh, what about um, Jorge? How are you? Uh, fine, teacher. Fine. Uh, um, I just... Uh, <clears throat> Uh, read a little on Sunday, but um, I have to make some travels. The but um, I have to um, hacer unos viajes to do some travels. Oh, trips. 
some trips. Ah, trips. Yes, uh -huh. trips. Um, but but fine. In general, my weekend is fine. Was fine. Where did you, where did you make the trip? Um. Um, near near uh, uh, here in the in the city um uh, I, I i'm not told to say um sí uh, <laughs> no sé cómo decirlo en inglés ir a a dejar a mi mamá y a traer a mi suegra a la casa o sea son cosas pequeñas digamos pa Oh, it was like um, like a family then. It was more. Yes. Yes. Oh, family. okay. Okay, I see. I see. Um, yes. Okay, but um, everything was good. To, uh, everything. It was everything was good on the weekend. Everything was cool. Yes. Oh, good. good yes. Good. Yes. Absolutely. Okay. Excellent. I'm glad to hear that. Um, okay. And let me say, let me say hi to, let's say, Vilma, Vilma Elizabeth. How are you? How are you? Good evening. Good evening. How, how was your day? I'm sorry, how was your weekend? Um, yo sería in office the lawyers and the notaries. Sorry, could you repeat that again? Es de abogados y notarios. Okay, um, how was your weekend? My, my, my question is, how was your weekend? Do you understand my question? No. Okay, you understand the weekend? Weekend is Saturday and Sunday. Okay, do you, can you hear me okay? Mm -hmm. Yes? Yes. Okay. Yes, yes. All right. Yes, so, okay, so Saturday and Sunday are the weekends. Mm, yeah. Uh, okay. So, how was your your weekend? Okay. Um, in family. You spent it with your family? Sí, yes. Ah, okay, okay, good. Did, did you visit your family or did you go out with your family? What did you do? Oh, family house. Um, um, uh, sí, in house and the second um sunday uh, visit a grandma on saturday you visited a gram your grandma sí, yes oh okay okay very good very good okay excellent all right and um let me see oh um, hello, Carlos Eliezer. Hello, Miss. How are you? I'm fine. Oh, good, good, I'm good. good. How are you? I'm good, thank you. How was your weekend? Um, uh, it's good. It was good? Uh, yes, so very, um, very good, very well. Oh. Oh, good, good. Okay, did you do something special? Something interesting? Um, mm, yesterday, I visited mom again. <laughs> uh, only that. You, you visit what? Uh, my mom. Your mom? Yes. Oh, okay. Where, where does your mom live? Uh, <laughs> in the cemetery. Oh, yes, I remember. Okay. Yeah, okay. All right. So you, you visit your mom at the cemetery every weekend? Yes. Um, 
Mm, not not every every weekend, but I I go when my brother my my brother came came he go. Mm, okay, I see. Okay, that's good. I, I'm. It's good that you visit you visit um the the cemetery. And, okay, all right. Um, and Ismael Ernesto, are you there? Ah, there he is. Okay, excellent. Good evening. Good evening. Um, sorry, I was taking the dinner. Um, very good. My weekend. Yeah. Um, I did uh, a few things. Okay. Um, like uh, I bought a shirt. So you you what? I buy a shirt. You bought, bought a shirt. shirt. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Bought a shirt. And Saturday mm -hmm. and uh, Sunday I was resting. You were resting. Ah. Oh. Okay. Okay, that sounds yeah, interesting. So. Okay. Yeah, yeah. No, don't go out. You didn't go out? No, no. It's no. Not mm. Okay, okay, I see. Um okay, very good. All right, guys. Uh what we're gonna do right now is we're going to take the attendance. Um, so please listen for your name and open your microphone when I call your name so that you can um, say that you're present. Okay, second right now. Mm -hmm. So second, guys. Okay. Um. Here we go. Um. Ana Victoria. Present. Wonderful. Uh. Asalia Melanie. Present. Carlos Alberto Orrego. Carlos Alberto. Okay. Eh, <clears throat> Carlos Eliezer Dimas. I hear it. Denise Alejandra. Present teacher. Excellent, thank you. Uh, Diana Jamilet. Diana Jamilet. Edith Adilia. Edith Adilia. Emerson Adiel Reyes. Ismael Ernest Boyat. Here. Excellent. Jorge Ernesto Hernández. Ready, chat. Excellent, thank you. Marlon Daniel Miranda. Present teacher. Excellent, thank you. Maria Elizabeth Lazo. Present teacher. Thank you, wonderful. Raquel Elizabeth de la Rosa. Raquel Elizabeth de la Rosa. Es Sandra Yvette Mendoza. Hello, teacher. I'm here. Okay, wonderful. Sara Rachel Salazar. Sara Rachel. Eh, Sergio Chamorro. Present teacher. Excellent. And Vilma Elizabeth. Present teacher. Excellent. So, wow, there's lots of people that are not here today. Um, Carlos Alberto is not here. I didn't hear the, uh, Diana Jamilet. I didn't hear Edith Adilia. I didn't hear Raquel Elizabeth. And I didn't hear Sarah Rachel. Am I correct? 
Okay. All right, guys and girls, we're going to what I'm going to do then is I'm going to start sharing um, the PowerPoint. Please let me know if you can see my PowerPoint. Not yet. Yes, miss. Yeah. Okay. Yes. All right. Perfect. So this is the course English for Work program. It's day fifteen. The date is Monday, June fifth, two thousand twenty-three, and your facilitator is Jessica Guerrero. Okay. <clears throat> so. Here is um, just a reminder of the vocabulary that you can use in class. So we have, um, if I ask you any questions, you can say, um, excuse me, can you repeat that? How do you, um, can you spell, sorry, um, can you speak more slowly? How do you spell and then say the word? Um, what's the answer for number four? How do you say da, da, da in English? What does, and you say the word mean, and how do you pronounce this? Okay. All right, any questions? Okay. All right, so last class, we were looking at how to write formal emails. Do you remember that? Yes? Do you remember? Yes, the chatter. Okay, good, good, good. All right, so what we're going to do right now is, well, taking into account these, um, these let's say, um, tips on how to write a formal email, we're going to write our own formal email. <clears throat> so, is that the first one is fill a one of the first uh, tips is fill in the subject line with a topic relevant to your recipient and not just your document or important include a polite salutation Ex example dear mr or dear ms good morning etc um write your main point in the opening sentence so um, say exactly why you are writing. Don't use all capitals or all lowercase letters. So you've got to make sure that if it's a beginning of a sentence, you use a capital and the rest should be lowercase letters. You should avoid abbreviations like please, P-L-Z. Be polite. Remember to write please and thank you. Be brief. If your message is too long, consider using an attachment. Use a closing phrase like best regards, regards, looking forward to your comment, etc. Add a signature block with appropriate contact information. Um, so you got to make sure that you include your name, the business address, and the phone number. And finally, before you send the message, you must edit and proofread so that you make sure that you're not making mistakes or anything like that. Okay. Do we remember these these tips? You remember these tips? Yes. Yes, me. Okay, perfect. So what we're gonna do right now is I want you to um you're going to be writing a, a formal email to a coworker. Okay. And I I literally want you to write an email. So right now, I want you to go into your email. Okay. 
Okay. I want you to go in literally into your 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 actual email. Okay. Can everybody go into their email at this moment? Yes, teacher. Yeah, everybody's in their email. Yes, everybody's there in yes. your email. Okay. Yes. Perfect. Okay. So what you're going to do right now is you're going to be writing an email. You're going to start writing an email. And your email is going to be like you're sending it to a coworker. Don't don't write uh, uh, the the send the recipient yet. Don't don't write the person the name of the person you're gonna send it. Just just write. Think about have a coworker in mind, and I want you to write a formal email to a coworker about something um, that is related to your job. And I want you to put these things into practice. These things here. Okay. I don't want you to take too, too long. So I'm gonna give you about 10 minutes approximately, approximately to write the email, okay? They should look something like this. Um, obviously a little bit longer the message, but um, <clears throat> certain, sorry, not like this. Sorry, forget, forget this one. It should not look, it should not look like this one. It actually should look like this one, because this one's a formal email, okay? And I want you to take these things into account. So what I'm gonna actually do is share that with you in the, in the group. So, eh, solo para asegurarme que todos lo estén haciendo correctamente, porque si no, 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 no va a funcionar bien esta dinámica. Y necesito que abran su correo electrónico y escriban realmente un verdadero cor um, correo electrónico. ¿Ok? Porque... En unos minutos, los voy a poner con un compañero de clase y van a intercambiar correo electrónicos y se lo van a mandar. Entonces necesitamos que sea un verdadero correo electrónico para que puedan mandar ese, ese, ese correo. Ok. Okay, and like I said, it should look something like this, but, you know, obviously a little bit longer, okay? And if you guys need help, I'm here to help you. Teacher, mm -hmm. it is a, a specific topic or whatever. Whatever. Whatever you whatever. prefer. But yeah. uh, in a business, business yes. ambient or or not? Yes, because remember, it's it, this is a formal email to a coworker. Yeah, it has to oh, be a okay. co yeah. Okay. So imagine, imagine you're sending it to a coworker, any coworker at you at work. What would you say to them? Okay. So imagine that it's a coworker, ex coworker.
sure, sure mm -hmm. answer. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Do you have questions? No questions? No teacher. Okay. You can ask me about vocabulary or anything like that.
finish teacher. Perfect. Okay. <clears throat> How are the rest of you doing? Are we almost finished? I finished teacher. Yes. Yes. Finished teacher. Yeah. Okay. Oh, wonderful. Okay. So it seems like most of you guys are finished. Um, okay. For the people that are not finished, I'm going to give you just two more minutes to finish off. So let's please try to, to wrap it up. Finish teacher. Okay, good. So I'm, I'm just going to give everybody about two more minutes to finish off because I know that some people are not finished. We finished teacher. Okay. One more minute to finish off. Okay, you guys ready now? Okay. All right, so what we're gonna do is the following. I'm going to uh, put you with a partner, okay? It's just gonna be the two of you, you and your partner. You're going to exchange email addresses. So that you send it, do you send your, your, your email to your partner? Your partner is going to read it and they're actually going to reply back to your email as if they are the, your coworker. Do you understand how this, this um, activity is going to work? Could you repeat please? Teacher? Yes, of course. So, Imagine, Sandra, that, that you and I are together in a group. I wrote an email, you wrote an email, right? I am going to give you my email address and you will give me your email address and we will send each other the emails. So you receive my email and I receive your email, okay? And then I am going to reply, I'm going to write back to you like I am your coworker. I'm going to pretend I am your coworker and I will write to you, I reply. And you will do the same. You will write a reply to me. Does that make sense, Sandra? Yes, teacher. I know. Okay, perfect. Okay, the rest of you, is that clear for everybody? I'm clear. Okay, good. Sorry, guys. When I you, think... when, when you, when 
change the email, mm -hmm. we, no, I send you my email or el, el de Walker. <laughs> I, okay. I Bye. Bye. Ana Victoria, imagine you are, uh, you are in a group with Jorge, for example. Jorge is going to give you his email address. And you send Jorge your email address. You send it to him. Jorge is going to send you his email address. Sorry, sorry. Um, yeah, sorry, uh, his email. You will receive his email. Okay, yes. and then reply. You're going to write back to Jorge. Okay. Okay. Does are you sure you do? Does that make sense? <laughs> I I uh, yes. <laughs> are you, okay. Explain to me what what are you going to do, Ana Victoria? After the same, uh, mm -hmm. my email uh, for my co, co worker, mm -hmm. I um, reply. Reply. Mm -hmm. Reply. Uh, nuevamente. No sé. Again, yes. You're going to reply to your co worker. Yes, exactly. Okay. Imagine he. Imagine then like Jorge would be your coworker and you will reply, okay. okay? Remember, the reply is formal. Continue formal emails, okay? Okay. Okay, so everybody's clear on the instructions? Okay, any questions? Okay, eh, les, les, um, solamente les digo, eh, por ejemplo, va, va a haber un grupo de, de tres, que es Ana, Victoria, Ismael y Marlon. Lo que pueden hacer es lo siguiente, Ana, Victoria, usted se lo manda a Ismael, Ismael, usted se lo manda a Marlon, y Marlon, usted se lo manda a Ana, Victoria. Ok, para que, porque okay. si... Y, um, y también hay otro grupo de tres, pero en ese caso solo dos personas en el grupo van a estar activas. Así que solamente ustedes, entre ustedes dos se van a mandar. ¿Ok? All right. So, any instructions, any questions before I, I send you? I send you to your group? No? Not teacher. Okay. All right, here we go. Got it. Yes. <laughs> uh, okay. Got it. But oh, oh. Yes. <laughs> okay. So, um. Okay. Can do you, you send? Yes. I'm sorry. Send me the mail or or. Okay. Uh, uh, I I I think we, ha we both we have to send it and then both we have to. Mail. Email, tell me, please. I email, I can spell spell you. Can I spell? Okay. You? Fine, fine, fine. D. What? D of of diamonds. <laughs> D. Okay. D of uh huh. E. Yeah. N. I know. Te lo voy a escribir mejor. <laughs> Wait, wait me for a second. Um, in the chat. Chat, yes. Chat, chat. 
chat chat. But only to you, to, right? Yes, to George. There is my email. This is mine. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Marlon, I sent you my email. Okay. Tell me if you receive. Okay, one moment. I I watch the image. Oh, that's a good email. Okay. Ismael, I send you my email. Uh, can you confirm? Yes, I, I received your okay. I I received your email. <laughs> That's very very nice. I wanna read it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> It's a little confused that the topic. <laughs> okay. You wanna receive my, my emails? I am um, check right now. Marlon. Ismael, Ismael I received two emails. Oh, okay, okay. Yes. Marlon, I received you, your email. Okay. I know the chip. We are waiting for the Marlon, what is a cloth a clothing? Sorry? I don't understand I understand, don't understand the a cloth a clothing the okay. the word um, sobre esto de uso of using the email um maybe informal or formal in this case i think is formal and i think it's a yeah. check it out está hablando del trabajo, ¿verdad? Sí. Hello. Los datos de la medicina. No, ok. Thank you. 
Ya lo voy a terminar. Ok. Ay, güey. Yes, just see, see your email. Do you see my email? Yes, uh, take me uh, one minute for I send uh, my, my answers. Okay. You're going to reply in one minute? That's that's very very fast. You're you're very quick. How do you say? Es el decir teach. Yes, because um, one minute is ah, you know that that's <laughs> impressive. <laughs> Hi class, uh, do you have any questions, any problems? No teacher, finish. Oh, you're finished already? Ya terminaron? Yes. No, really? Entendí, sí, ya, eh, bueno, se lo voy a decir en español. Yo entendí que vamos a mandarnos ambos correo y respondernos ambos uh -huh. de manera formal. Right. Yes, entonces, ya, yeah, finish. You ready? Uh, you responded to your classmate uh, already. You, you responded to your classmate. 
correo que fuera formal de ambos. Um, yeah, yeah, you have to be formal. Did you already respond? ¿Ya respondió? Sí, yes, 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 yes ambos. ¿Ambos? Fue, pero fue una, un correo formal, así, y, y, y con una respuesta sí. completa y todo, o, o solamente un, una oración. No, se lo voy a leer. Ok, mismo. ok. El primer que le envié, el concepto le puse Notary Training. En cordial greeting, Mr. González. We invited you to the Notary Training. Offered at you night eh, 2023 at 8 o'clock. We ask you to confirm through this email. We are waiting to your answer. Sincerely, Mr. Gutierrez. Es el que yo envié. Y él me respondió. Uh, dear Elizabeth, I confirm my attendance at the training in advance. Thank, thank, thank you very much for the invitation. Imitation. Sergio. Hoy el que usted me envió. Okay, Ajá. pero pero se, se mandaron, o sea, se mandaron las respuestas. Sí, sí, esa es la respuesta que él me dio a mí y después él me mandó un correo a mí y yo Ajá. se lo respondí. Ajá, o sea, es, así lar larguito sean, siempre. Se han, se han, se han intercambiado los correos, ¿verdad? Sí, de diferentes conceptos, yes. tema. Ok. Ok, ok, good. Uh -huh. What was the, what was the, the, the one that he sent you? No. What, what, which one is the other one? Can you read the other one? Can you, can you read the other email? Uh, uh, uh -huh. My email. Yeah. Chamorro, Chamorro uh, 374. No, but no, but I, I, I want, I just want to know what the email says. Uh, what is the email read. that? Uh, yes, please read. Okay. I confirm mm -hmm. my attendance at the training in advance. Thank you very much for the invitation. That's it. Okay, bye. To begin with, you need to you need to uh, so introduce yourself. So uh, you have to have a, a, a introduction. Um, you have to say. Um, you know, fulanito, blah, 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 say like, and, and, and so we have to make sure that if it's a, if it's a, a formal email, you also have to answer formally. So okay. no podemos irnos directamente a la, al, al, al mensaje. T tenemos que, que, que también hacerlo formal. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Does that make sense? Does that does that make sense? Tiene sentido eso? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. So that so that we continue with formal emails. That's the idea here to continue with formal emails. Okay. okay. All right. So maybe you can. You can just change a little bit so that it's a little more formal. Okay, sí, él me mandó uno, yo se lo contesté eh, de esta manera. En el concepto, clarifying information, the 
the evaluation of the corporate English platform. Yo le respondí, greetings, okay. Mr. Chamorro. Tell you that in our corporate English platform, it is the talent that wanted for we and this day we are here to help you happy day. Él me preguntó que si terminaba la unidad, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Entonces, eh, respondía en el concepto como es formal, pero le aclarando información de lo que él me estaba preguntando, me dirigí él a su nombre y ya después a aclarar lo que él quería. Ok, ok, good. Yeah, um, just as long as you keep it um, formal, that should be ok. 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 All right. Okay. Um, see you in a moment later. Okay. 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 Okay, all right, very good, everybody. Did everybody have a chance to, to send the emails and reply? Yeah? Yes. Okay, all right, good. Remember, yes. excellent. Remember that the emails should, um, with coworkers, should always be formal. So even if you are replying, it should also be formal. Okay, so reply the same way with the salutation, also with closing, et cetera, all of the thing. Okay, okay. Um, all right, uh, how did you like this activity? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Was it easy? Was it difficult? Yes, we like it. Yes, yeah. I like it. Yes, I like it. Yes, I like it. Okay. Good. What bird will be Sorry, Jorge. I think it was my email. Sorry, my 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 um my internet. I couldn't hear you very well. Can it you was a good it? a good. It was a good uh, activity. Okay. Good, good. I'm glad you liked it. Yeah, the, the idea is that we actually put this into practice um, in our everyday life, right? So actually seeing how these points can help us in our everyday life. So um, actually putting them into practice, that's the idea. Okay, so very good. Okay, guys, um, we're going to continue with our um our point our powerpoint presentation please make tell me if you can see my powerpoint presentation yes yes it's yes. yes. great okay so is the word etiquette familiar to you is it familiar to you do you understand the word etiquette uh me Yes, teacher. Yes? Okay. Can you explain what you understand by etiquette, Sandra? Etiquette is the rules. Mm -hmm. um, uh, rules about the, the how do you say, escritura. The writing? The writing in the in the emails or in the social media. Mm -hmm. 
for example, how do you write with respect? Mm -hmm. And words, um, a prudence words. Approved. Did you say approved? Prudence. 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 With prudence. Oh, okay. Okay. Yes. Prudence. Okay. Very good. Very good. Yes. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Very good. Anybody else can tell me a little bit more about etiquette? No, nothing more. Nobody else knows anything about etiquette? Okay, well, basically, um, etiquette is um, the appropriate way of behaving. Um, is a, among a specific group of people, specifically like in society or um, a, in a work, work environment, social environment. Um, so it's the way that you are supposed to behave that is polite, that is, that is acceptable. Do we understand that word? Does that make sense? Teacher, could you repeat again? Yeah, of course. So etiquette is the way that, that you are expected to behave in a, um, a specific group, specifically like a, a certain society, or the workplace. So how you are expected to behave. Does that make sense? What it means behave? Behave. Behave, it comes from behavior. Okay. Your behavior. Yeah, I got it, I got it. Okay, good. I'll just write it down in case um, people are not sure about it. Behavior. Okay, so your behavior is um, you behave a certain way. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes, does that make sense, everybody? Yes. Yeah, so, yes. okay, good. So mention two rules of etiquette at your workplace. What are two rules of etiquette at your workplace? For example, don't write in capital letters. Okay, okay, good, good. That, that's about emails, right? You're talking about emails, right? But um, in terms of behavior at your workplace, what are two rules of etiquette? Teacher, can you repeat? Okay. At your workplace, what are two rules of etiquette? Remember, we're talking about behavior, okay? Do you remember what is behavior? What is behavior? Huh? Comportamiento. Comportamiento, okay. So what are two rules of etiquette or the way that you are expected to behave at your workplace? 
wait for a step. Mm -hmm. Okay, but how? How do you show that? I, I don't know. I don't I don't know if that's a rule of et etiquette, but uh -huh. uh, when somebody near near to me is in a meeting, I uh -huh. don't have to to speak loud or, or yell or something like that. Good. You shouldn't yell. Okay, very good. So yeah, so if you know that there is a meeting going on at your workplace. So good etiquette is to keep your the volume of your voice down so that you're not shouting or yelling. Very good. Yes, that's etiquette. Exactly. Do you can you think of something else? Do not eat on the desk. Don't eat on the desk. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, it would be not on the desk, but at the desk. Okay, yes, very good. So don't eat at your desk. Very good, yeah. That could be good etiquette because uh, maybe um, that would be uh, very inconsiderate for the people at uh, that, that um, <clears throat> the 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 maintenance people right to be cleaning up food at, you, at your desk mm -hmm. good anything else any other rules i think uh, i'm sorry my dad go on <laughs> no problem yes my dad Okay, teacher. I think it's um, don't necessarily use the cell phone. Uh, don't use and put, put attention. Okay, don't use um, cell phone. Okay, when? If not necessary, no use and okay. put attention. Okay. Okay, good. So don't use your, your cell phone when it's not necessary. Okay, very good. Anything else? Any other etiquette? Don't speak loud. Don't speak loudly. Okay, good. Yes. Anything else? Any other etiquette? When say? you're, in, when yes, you're in a meeting, I marry put yourself cell phone on the bright the right the bright. Vibration. Yes. When when did you say you should put your cell phone on vibration? When? Yes. When? Uh, when you're in meeting, meeting. Oh, in the meeting. Reunion. Yes. In the meeting. Yes, very good. Put your cell phone on vibrator. On vibration. Okay, on vibration. Okay. okay. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Yes, good, good. So uh, put your cell phone on vibration when you're in a meeting so that it doesn't interrupt the meeting if it rings, right? Mm -hmm. Very good. Excellent. Okay, are these rules important? Are these rules important, do you think? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Yes? Yes. yes. Why? Why do you think it's important? It's a part of the convivence rules. Okay. Um, um, okay, so it's part of the rules of um, um, what would it be? Um, Mm 
Let me just think. It's this is keep my mind. Coexistence is the word. Co coexistence. Coexistence. Yeah, coexistence. Oh yes, exactly. Um, so um it's for good uh to have a good coexistence um with your co co-workers. Yes, very good. Anything else? Any other reasons why it's important? Because it's a form of respect for the others. Yes, it's respect for others. Excellent, very good. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're actually gonna be reading an article on etiquette, etiquette at the workplace. So it says, read the article on workplace etiquette guidelines. Then identify the key details to answer the comprehension questions. So I'm going to, um, I'm going to ask for four volunteers to help me read this article on good etiquette at the workplace. Can you read? Um, are you able to read this article? Can you see it or it's not possible to read it? In my case, I can see, I can see. I can, I can see, I can see through the chair. Okay, perfect. Okay, so in that case, I need follow four volunteers to help me read. Who can help me read? Only reading, that's it. I can help you, teacher. Okay, thank you, Denise. So, Denise, you can read the first paragraph. Who comes, wants to read this paragraph, the second one? Teacher. Okay, thank you, Sandra. Who can read the third paragraph? Me, teacher. Wonderful, thank you, Jorge. And the last paragraph, who can read it for me? Me, teacher. Okay, wonderful, Celia. All right, you, okay, so let's start. Uh, with Denise. Um, there are many workplace et etiquette guidelines, but the most important is to be punctual to your office. If you are late because you had an emergency, that's okay, that is okay. However, ha uh, habitual late commerce are never appreciated in any organization. If you get a, if you get to your office on time, you show that you are responsible and you respect the organization. If you know that you will be late, then a good etiquette guideline will be to call the concern authority and report the reason why you are late. Thank you. Thank you very much, Neil. All right, uh, any questions about the vocabulary in this set, in this paragraph? Etiquette or etiquette, etiquette? What is the pronunciation? Oh, the pronunciation. The pronunciation is etiquette. Etiquette. Et etiquette. Etiquette. Yes. Okay. Right. Okay, any other words about uh, the meaning? Appreciate, appreciate. Please. Is that for the meaning or the pronunciation? Pronunciation. Okay, okay. That's appreciated. Please. Appreciated. Appreciated. Yes. Anything else? Um, I, I don't know how to say, or, or what is the pronunciation of ha habitual? Habitual, habitual. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we pronounce it habitual. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Anything else?
Yeah. Meaning and words. Concern. The pronunciation. Concerned. Concerned. Anything else? Okay, perfect. All right, let's continue with the second. Who is supposed to read the second one? I think Sandra. Was it Sandra? Okay, go for it, Sandra. Mm -hmm. Etiquette is also important when you have to to communicate with employees or clients in any part of the world. In those cases, it is necessary to have good knowledge of the workplace email etiquette of the countries. In the official emails, you need to mention the subject clearly and be concise. You also need to include all the important details. You should use formal and grammatically correct language for emails. Thank you. Okay. Do you have questions about the pronunciation or the vocabulary? How to pronounce grammatically. 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 No mm -hmm. English. Grammatically. Yes, grammatically. Any other words? Okay, this one is concise. 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 Mm -hmm. Concise. Anything else? No. <sighs> Anything else? Oh, okay. Knowledge. Knowledge. Yes. Any any questions? Any other questions about pronunciation or about the meaning? Sorry, is, is, it, is it the word clearly? I'm guessing. Clearly. Clearly. Yeah, I think the other word is include, include. Okay, all right, let's continue. I think the other one, is it Jorge? Yes. Okay. All right. Go for it, Jorge. In addition, knowledge of telephone etiquettes in the workplace is very essential. When you talk to your employers or your supervisors, listen to what they say careful and do not interrupt. Be sure your voice is clear when you 
speaks to a bio wrong interpretation interpretations. Thank you. Okay. Any questions about the vocabulary there or about the pronunciation? Oiga, se me ha quedado trabado el cursor. Ahí está. Okay. I see. Carefully. Carefully. Eh, interrupt. 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 Avoid, avoid. Any other questions? If you can ask me about the, the, the meaning too. Um, I'm not sure, is that during? During. Mm -hmm. During. Anything else? Okay. Uh, who was going to read the last one? The last paragraph? Hey, teacher. No, uh, there was there was somebody I forgot who it was. It was it was a girl. I was going to read the last one. Oh, sorry, sorry. That's okay. It's looking to make a look in Me, T-shirt. Ah, okay. Wonderful, Salia. Go, go for it. I'll intend to teach. <laughs> okay. Etiquette guidelines are important even when, even when you are celebrating with your coworkers is to get a call when you are 18. Say, excuse me, and then receive the call. Do not call, talk loudly will 18. And remember to close your mouth when you show. You, sh you school, remember that your behavior and manners are under observation. Following etiquette guide, guidelines can play a very vital role for future promotions. Okay, thank you very much, Solian. Okay, um, questions about either the pronunciation or the vocabulary. Mouth, mouth, guidelines, guidelines. Okay. Chew. Chew. I can remember like in Star Wars, Chewbacca. Chew. 
to work uh, teach him. Yeah, yeah, literally it starts with Chewbacca. Behavior. Of the day. Yes, exactly. Behavior. Behavior. Anything else? Okay. Nothing else? <clears throat> okay. So what we're going to do right now is um, I want you to, I'm going to put you in, in uh, pairs, and I want you to answer these questions, number one, two, three, and four, according to what we just read. Okay, so I'm going to stop sharing for a moment. And I'm actually gonna send you the, the um, slide to the WhatsApp group. Please tell me if you have received it. Yes, received it. Yes, teacher. Wonderful. Okay, um, so I'm going to put you guys into breakout rooms. Um, Just a second, guys. Okay, so I'm opening the rooms. I'll give you about, uh, I think I you should be able to do it in about five minutes or I'll give you seven actually. Seven minutes to, to do it. Um, I think that should be more than enough. Okay, so let's open the rooms. Only the answers were the question. Yes. One. The number one is say if you know you are late, you should compare compens or compens the time. Call the person to report to. What how uh -huh. what 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 is what's, what's the page in book no in the in whatsapp mm -hmm. send the a slide no book is is the a slide where where do you read for a minute? Okay. No sé. Vamos a responder entonces. No creo que no está en el libro, ¿verdad? No. Está en el libro el diálogo, nada más. Es uh -huh. diálogo. Eh, girls, by it. Um, did you... What's, what's the, the question that you have? What question mm -hmm. do you have? Uh, 
girls, what, what questions do you have? I don't, I, I understand is only that what? the answer for the question, for, for the fourth question or yeah. no? Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. That's it. It's the, how do you say elegir? To choose. Ah, okay. Yes. <laughs> it's only choose the answer. Or no? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, just choose the answer. For, okay, for number mm -hmm. one, the question is, if you know you are late, you should. The answer A is compains. What do you pronounce? Com does this word compens? How do you pronounce? How do you pronounce this you say, word? You say compensate. Compensate the time. Yeah. This is the answer. A, B, call the person you report to. And letter C, We finished, teacher. You finished? Oh, yes. wonderful. Okay. Let me go see the other groups. Okay. In the letters C, leave the table Little. and answer the call. I think. Okay. It's okay, your side. Uh... A call what you are eating with your co-workers you should leave the table and answer the call because okay. in the last right. paraphot talk about that. Uh, right. Okay. Okay. Um so the um square no, leave the Number table. Four. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Is that leave the table and answer the call? Yes, the letter C. Okay. If you want, mm -hmm. practice. The number one. Okay. If you if know you are late, late. <laughs> yes, late. yes. Okay, so we have everybody back. <clears throat> so let's uh, check the answers.
Okay, so we have first question. If you know you are late, <clears throat> you should. What should you do? According to the article, what should you do? Letter A. A, B. B. Letter B, yes. Call the person you report to. <clears throat> oh. What is a tip to apply in official emails? C. Letter C. Letter C, express the subject clearly. Good. Which is not good etiquette when talking on the phone? Which one is not good etiquette? Letter B. B. Letter B. Very good, letter B. And finally, if you receive a call while you're eating with coworkers, you should? Letter C. Letter C. <laughs> Yes, letter C, leave the table and answer the call. Okay, any questions? No teacher. No questions? Okay. Okay, very good guys. Um, so let's clear this. Okay, speaking of, oops. Speaking of etiquette, we're going to be writing an etiquette manual. So you are in charge, imagine, this is imagining, okay? You are in charge of a group that is going to visit another company to make an alliance, okay? An alliance is like a connection between two companies. <clears throat> Write a short etiquette manual for your colleagues, okay? So you're going to write an um, uh, etiquette manual for you, for your your coworkers to continue to to follow for the year twenty twenty three. Okay. All right. Do we understand what we're going to be doing? <clears throat> yes or no. Yes, teacher. Yeah. Yes. So, yes, for example, teacher. for example, the first one: greet everyone in the facilities. That is a good etiquette when you're visiting the other company. Okay. Then you're gonna write five more, five more etiquette to follow. Uh, for, for for example, uh, my work offer coffee or water to customers or no, okay, so there's a group, you're, you're going to make an alliance with another company. You understand alliance? Very, very similar to Spanish, alliance. Alianza. Alianza. Right. Okay, so you're going to make an alliance with another company. Okay, so a group of people from your your uh, company will visit another group. Sorry, will visit the company. So you have to write good etiquette that that group from your company will follow when they visit the other company. Does that make sense? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes? Okay. Yes. All right. So what I'm going to do is I will um, send you, well, first of all, I'll send you this. Um, I'll send you the, the slide to the, to the um, WhatsApp group. And then I'm going to put you with your same partner as you had before. You're going to work same partner. And you're going to be doing it together. 
Okay, so. Etiqueta de negocios. Okay, so here we go. I'm opening the rooms. Ajá. Eh, entonces sería la segunda. Eh, my group present eh, in the company. Ah, uh, presentar ah, yeah. el grupo. Eh. Entonces, my group. Eh. Una idea, ¿verdad? Digamos, my group. Ajá, ajá. My group. Present. Like, like intro, introduce themselves. Introduce, introduce, or ourselves. Oh, oh. So, no sé cómo se dice. Eh, tal, eh, 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 continued eh, two. Eh, por ejemplo, my group present in the two or self, eh, presentar a mi grupo. Uh -huh. Or intro, uh -huh. introduce or my team or team. Uh -huh. yes. Okay. I, I think uh, punctual. Be punctual because mm. if we are going to go to that company we have to be punctual okay. and for uh, one for now Maybe, maybe if if we have a meeting, pay attention. Mm. Pay attention to the meeting. I, I don't know. Como es como para para unir sería sería. ¿Cómo se diría? Details. ¿Cómo se diría? Don Chu Bubblegum. Bubblegum. <laughs> Bubblegum. Uh, that's the second word of the day. The one is Chewbacca. <laughs> Don Chewbacca. Don be Chewbacca. Don be Chewbacca. <laughs> Don be Chewbacca at the meetings. <laughs> okay. Um, no, it, uh, remember, it's bubblegum. Bubblegum. Bubblegum, yeah. Oh, you're near. Bubblegum. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Teacher, do, I, I say to Ismael, don't Chewbacca. <laughs> don't be Chewbacca in the meetings. Don't be Chewbacca. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's so funny. <laughs> okay. Then, okay. Um, Sorry. Okay. <laughs> ¿Cuántas son? Um, cinco las que tenemos que poner. Six. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, let me see. The number four, maybe. 
Um, for example, for example, don't interrupt when 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 the other person is is speaking. Yes. Maybe. Right, that don't interrupt when the other person is a speak a speaker. The other person is speaking. Speaking. One, two, speaker. three. Okay. Number five. Um, let me see. Number five. Um, um put attention. Yes. Right. Um, for that compliment, put attention. It's if have a meeting. Uh, or maybe put attention at in the, put attention at the indications. Oh, um, okay. Right. Right. I, I call put attention. Put attention at the, the indication. Ah, okay. Indication. Indication. It's equipment. Don't touch office. Office equipment. Uh, we finish again. The dress prop. Properly, dress, dress properly. We finished, did you? Okay. Oh, you, you did five already? Yes, yeah, five. Okay, great. I'll see the other groups then. Yes. Are you girls cool. finished? Yes. You're you're finished? Yes, I think so. Finish. Okay, perfect. Um, I'll see you in the main room in a moment then. Ball, prudent, and efficient. Which what fun? Okay, wonderful. All right, I would like to hear uh, two etiquettes from each group. So we'll start with um, Denise and Vilma. <clears throat> Give me two etiquettes that you came up with. Um, I think uh, be punctual. 
Okay. And, and the migrant present in the jury cell component. Sorry, could you repeat that, Vilma? Continue. Uh, sería respect the installation in the company. Okay, respect the installations in the company. Okay, all right. It's, okay, good. Uh, group number, the next group, uh, Ismael and Sandra. Give me two more that have not been mentioned. No, vamos a repetir, así que te estén prestando atención. Okay, go for it. Mm -hmm. Don't need uh, bubble gum in okay. the meeting. Good, don't need bubble gum in the meeting, good. Another one? Don't interrupt the speakers. Wonderful, excellent, okay. Group number four, Jorge and Mayra. Two more that have not been mentioned. Okay, teacher. In which case, um, respect the company's etiquette rules. Good. Okay, excellent. And one more. Uh, and the other, um, speak softly. Okay, very good. Okay, next group, um, Carlos, Marlon, and Sergio. Um, don't touch if you're nothing and respect the other's idea of people. Okay, don't, don't touch what? Don't touch if not your thing. Don't touch something if it's not your, if it's not yours, okay. Don't uh -huh. touch if it's not yours, uh-huh. And the other one? Uh, respect the other's idea. Respect others' ideas. Excellent. Okay. And the last group, uh, Ana Victoria, Salia. Yes. Mm -hmm. Be professional and acknowledge you about your product and your work. Okay, good. And the last one? One more. Use, oh, pardon. <laughs> okay. Use professional language. Perfect. Okay, very good. Bravo, excellent guys. You did a wonderful job with that. Okay, so let's finish off our class today. By the way, um, uh, just a reminder that we have officially finished unit three. So that means that you have to have finished unit three in the, in the, what's it called? And the platform. Okay, so I will be um, updating that information uh, for tomorrow. So I need you to finish today. Okay, so tomorrow I will be updating uh, the unit three. <clears throat> so I need, so I need you to have finished. Unit one, unit two, uh, unit three, and the midterm. Okay. Estamos chicos. Okay. Acuérdense que esto, okay. estamos a una semana de terminar. Por cierto, um, ¿cómo vamos con los documentos? Uh, hay muchos de que me dijeron que no, que um, de que estaban pendiente que sus compañías le habían dicho que iban a mandarlo. ¿Alguna actualización de eso? ¿No? ¿No ninguna? ¿Ninguna actualización? Ok. El mío uh, ya lo enviaron, dicho. Oh, perfect, perfect, perfect. Ok, ¿hay alguien aquí que todavía esté pendiente de mandarlo? Ay, o, ¿O todos lo han mandado en este momento? ¿Todos lo han mandado? Creo que en mi empresa, si no lo mandaron ahora, mañana lo estarían enviando. Ok, 
Uh, ¿Será posible que mañana pueda revisar quizá al final del día, verdad? No al principio, sino que al final del día quizá hacerles un recordatorio si ya la mandaron. Sí. Ok, perfecto, perfecto. Ok, ¿alguien más que, que todavía esté pendiente? Sí, yo creo que yo también, teacher, mañana les pregunto. Ok, ah, pues entonces lo mismo, ¿verdad? Quizá al final del día eh, puede usted revisar que, que, que sí, que sí, de hecho lo hayan mandado. Ok. ¿Alguien más que esté todavía pendiente? ¿No? Todos los demás han lo mandado entonces. ¿Sí? Yes, sir. In my case, yes. Ok. Wow. Ok. Excellent. Ok. Well, let's just um, take attendance then. Ana Victoria. Present teacher. Azalia. Eh, Melanie. Present teacher. Carlos Alberto Orego. Orego. Carlos Elizer Dimas. I hear the teacher. Eh, Denise Alejandra. Present teacher. Diana Jamilet. Diana Jamilet. Edita Dilia Hernández. Present. Present. Thanks. Wonderful. Thank you. Emerson Adiel. Uh, Ismael Ernesto. Oyat. I'm here. I'm here. Okay. Wonderful. Jorge Ernesto. Present teacher. Next time, Marlon Daniel Miranda. Present teacher. María Elizabeth Lazo. Present teacher. Excellent. Raquel Elizabeth. De la Present. Rosa. Present. Sandra Ivette. Eh, Mendoza. Present teacher. Sara Rachel Salazar. Sergio Chamorro Calero. Present teacher. Excellent. And Vilma Elizabeth Taquian. Present teacher. Very good. Ok, chicos, eh, eso saliría todo. Um, lo único que si alguien eh, desea hacer alguna pregunta antes eh, de, de desconectarse, tenemos chancecito porque la persona que le toca hoy no está. Entonces, si quieren alguien preguntar, eh, aquí estoy. De lo contrario, we'll see each other tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye, guys. Bye. Hey, good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Have a nice rains. Good night. Good night. Good night. Uh, miss, mm -hmm. I have a question with one, uh, with one test. Okay. In the unit four, oh. I don't know. Uh -huh. I don't know where is the mistake. <laughs> okay, so this is unit four. And this is not the midterm, right? And uh, yes, it's the unit four. Okay. All right. Do you remember which um, exercise it was? Yes. The instruction is complete the sentences using the form of B plus going to plus the verb in brackets. And is it the, the sentence and with the blank blank space? And okay, can you can you tell me which exercise it is so I can I can yes, look it up right now? Uh, 17. 17. Yes. And the question that I have that I don't know the answer is the question number four. It says you blank space, a picnic next Tuesday. And in, and in brackets is to have. And I don't, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> so, okay, so you, you probably, did you do the other ones? Yes. Uh, I don't know if I can show you my, my. Okay, so before anything, 
This is hmm? using uh, the be going to, the future be going yes. to, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Good. All right. So you can show me your 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 answers so that I can see what's 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 going on. I don't know. I think I can share my 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 screen. Yes, you you can. You should be able to. I don't see the the. Ah, yes, I I is here. Mm -hmm. Here is my there are there are my answers. This is these are my answers. But this is the only one that I don't know what is the mistake or what 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 is the mistake. Um check if there's an extra space at the beginning. I'm okay. going to delete, delete everything. Okay. You are going to have no. Uh, okay. Try after have put an extra uh, space in there. Hmm. No. No, <laughs> I don't know. Mm. It is mm -hmm. strange because I'm going to refresh the main. Oh, you know what it is? Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, so, okay. okay, so what it is, uh, continue with that same answer. The huh? only thing is that in their answer, they included the word you. Just put the word you at the beginning. I have to put you are yeah. going to have. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. That's it. That's okay. it. Okay. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm glad. Okay. I'm glad we solved that problem. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know just... if I stopped to try. Oh, yeah. Okay. I... Yeah, and, and thank you for letting me know because that way I will be able to let the others know. Um, okay. Yeah, okay. So thank you very much for that. Thank you to you, Miss. You're welcome. Take care. Okay. Goodbye. Okay. Bye. Good night.